I'm Yasmin Annan with the news from Bahrain Television. Good evening. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Qudaybiyah Palace today members of the royal family and senior officials. His Royal Highness thanked the people of Bahrain too as the issues related to the security and stability of the country, which is not new from them, confirming that such stances have protected Bahrain from crises and threats and preserved its development process. He confirmed the necessity to continue communication among all segments of the society, calling on spreading such value among the younger generations to strengthen the principle of belonging. He said that he adopted the approach of communication with the people in different occasions out of his belief in the importance of enhancing communication to meet the needs of the people and achieve the country's development and prosperity. In regards to regional and international issues, the Prime Minister said the Kingdom supports the countries of the GCC in relation to all their crucial issues, especially in regards to their security and stability. He said that the government is dealing with the current economic challenges in a way to sustain the development process and maintain the living standards. He pointed out the importance of attracting and creating more investment opportunities that would allow the national economy to prosper and diverse sources of income. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Qudaybiyah Palace the newly appointed Ambassador of Sri Lanka to Bahrain, Dr. A. Saj U. Mendis. His Royal Highness commended the developing bilateral relations thanks to both countries' keenness to further enhance them for the best interests of both countries' people. He wished the Ambassador success in performing his diplomatic mission to consolidate joint cooperation. And for his part, the Sri Lankan Ambassador conveyed to the Prime Minister the greetings and appreciation of President M. Maitri Pala Sirsena and his wishes to the government and people of Bahrain of prosperity. The ambassador hailed the relations between both countries and their development following the Prime Minister's visit in July 2009, which contributed in reinforcing cooperation and friendship. He expressed pride in His Royal Highness keenness to strengthen relations and confirmed his country's keen interest to further consolidate cooperation and coordination in the political and economic fields. His Majesty the King's personal representative and head of the Higher Organizing Committee of Bahrain International Airshow, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired at Sakhir Airbase today the Organizing Committee's meeting on ongoing preparations for the fourth edition of Bahrain International Airshow in the presence of Transportation and Communications Minister Kemal bin Ahmed. The event will be held under the patronage of His Majesty the King from January 21st to 23rd. His Highness was briefed by the Minister on the final preparations to launch the show and guaranteed success which would positively reflect Bahrain's economic and development status. He also reviewed the preparations of civil and military delegations' participation and the plans to ensure the safety of citizens and visitors in addition to providing the best facilities and entertainment. He thanked His Majesty for his support and wise directives which led to the success of the previous shows and expressed his appreciation of the efforts of the organizing committee. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah confirmed that the air show is the biggest of its kind in the kingdom during which many business deals and agreements are conducted that would contribute in developing national economy and increase investment. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletic Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty the King on Bahrain achieving the first title in the Indian Open MMA Championship organized by the All India MMA Association under the supervision of the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation on January 8th to 10th on the sidelines of Body Power Expo. 
His Highness Sheikh Khaled praised the role and directives of His Majesty the King in developing the field of youth and sports under His Majesty's reform project. He also dedicated his achievement or this achievement to their Royal Highnesses the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khaled held a telephone call congratulating the KHK MMA team on their titles and the significant performance they performed. He also thanked the organizing committee and the fighters on their efforts to make this accomplishment. He congratulated representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee. And he said that this achievement praised his role. He also praised his role and the role of the Supreme Council of the Youth and Sports in contributing to this achievement. He also lauded the plans of the government in making further developments in the field of sports, affirming the team's keenness to set strategies that aim to bring further accomplishments to the kingdom. He extended appreciation to the All India MMA Association in contributing to the success of the championship, wishing them success. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Mr. Ali Al Saleh, chaired the weekly meeting and affirmed the Shura and Representative Council's keenness to further cooperate to coordinate in the marching of Bahrain. The Council approved a report by Foreign Affairs, Defence and National Security Committee regarding protecting the society of terrorism. The Council discussed a report by the Services Committee regarding the establishment of pension fund for representatives and Shura members and referred the report to the Concerned Committee. The Council then approved a report by the same committee regarding the rehabilitation of people with special needs. And now it's time for business news with you, Bara. Thank you, Yasmina. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain TV. Under the patronage of the Chairman of Bahrain Commerce and Industry, Khalid Mu'ayyid, a series of Taiwan Smart ICT workshops commenced today. The two-day event is co-organized by the Enterprise Initiative Center of the Chamber and Taiwan Trade Mission with emphasis on ICT applications, practices, solutions, and the Taiwanese ICT experience. Seminars at the workshop will be delivered by the top ICT experts from Taiwan. The workshops will contribute to the upgrading the skills and expertise of the entrepreneurs and representatives of economic sectors and businesses in the telecommunication and technology information technology and university students. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,192.73 points, a decrease of 8.88 points below last closing. The fall was in the commercial banking and services sectors. Although the former represented the majority of 71% of the total share value traded, in total there were 13 transactions involving 266,720 shares worth 41,683 Bahraini dinars.